Availability is Chicho. When do you think, if ever, the Lebanon counterattack on Israel occurs? I've heard constantly among, amongst many commentators and news that Hezbollah has enough missiles to metaphorically, even literally, flatten lots of Israel. What I don't understand is, if yes, then when? Uh, how long could you possibly delay when you're being directly bombed to shit by Israel? Um, availability. Uh, first, yes, Hezbollah has enough missiles to wipe, up, wipe out all of Israel's large cities right and little towns and stuff they have some accounts hundred thousand plus missiles and drones and rockets and all that jazz right so they can wipe israel off the map the problem is the united states is there and they will protect israel and if hezbollah does that israel will use nukes and united states will continue to protect israel even if they use nukes and what will that mean? What that means is Israel will be nuked by some nations. They will be or completely blockaded. And then we're going to go on a nuclear war. Hezbollah doesn't want to wipe Israel off the face of the map. Hamas, Hezbollah, Iran, all Arab nations have recognized Israel, as far as I know, to its original boundaries that were set in 1948 okay the united nations and most arab countries have agreed to this have stated that israel needs to go back to the 1967 borders right so the only country in the middle east that wants war right now and has wanted war for a while now okay is israel Saudi Arabia doesn't, doesn't want it, Iraq doesn't want it, Syria doesn't want it, Iran doesn't want it, Lebanon doesn't want it, Egypt doesn't want it, Yemen doesn't want it. Okay. None of those countries and the Arab Gulf states, monarchies that are there, they don't want it. So the only country in the world, in the Middle East, that wants war is Israel. And they're doing everything they can to start the war, to expand the war. And those nations are not taking the bait. The reason they're not taking the bait is because Israel is bleeding out, right? They're bleeding out, right? Israel's economy devastated. It will never come back to what it was, ever. Corporations, the ones that haven't left, multinational corporations, the ones that haven't left, they will be slowly leaving. Okay, there are, by some accounts, 200,000 refugees now in Israel that have been displaced from northern Israel, right? And surrounding townships in Gaza, right? The odds are they will never return, okay? Multiple countries have banned products from Israel. Multiple countries have said they will not do business with Israel. Multiple countries including the International Criminal Court, has come out and said that Israel is committing genocide. Maybe International Criminal Court is one hair, pubic hair away from fucking saying, yeah, their hands on, it's genocide, you must take that. But it, they've said it, basically. Okay. So the world is watching this Zionist fanatical regime, racist supremacist that doesn't give a rat's ass about anybody, right? do some of the most horrendous horrendous acts in human history as their citizens dance and cheer it on so in the eyes of the world israel is that just committed suicide why would lebanon iran egypt egypt's puppet state jordan is a puppet state controlled by israel and the united states right why would at an adversary of israel want to do anything that will expand this war beyond uh, where it is right now, where they're watching Israel bleed out, where the world looks on Israelis as the most vile people on planet Earth. 
And if you don't understand why that is, look at what they've done in the last 10 months. Like, seriously sit down and look at what they've done in the last 10 months, and you'll consider them to be the most vile people on the planet, right? Because they're a Zionist. 90% of them support the genocide in Gaza. What do you say about people who support genocide where the majority of the population supports conducting genocide? You can't say that about Germany World War II. Majority, majority of Germans during World War II and pre-World War II didn't support genocide because they didn't know there was a genocide happening. Right? Right now, in Israel, they all know there's a genocide happening. They have a gap. They, this blew me away. This effing blew me away. Right? Every time you think Zionists can't do anything more horrendous, more atrocious, more disgusting, they come up with something more horrendous, more atrocious, and more disgusting. Right? They have boat tours that load, load their passengers on Israel, Israeli land, and then they come across in Gaza, off the coast of Gaza, and they watch the Israeli military bomb Gaza. Remember, people are dying. They bring their children, family. It's a family fucking outing, right? They watch bombs going. It's like fireworks, but Palestinians and Gazans being blown to smithereens, including children, right? While their soldiers are throwing people off rooftops and raping them in prisons and concentration camps and stuff they have families in boats off the coast of gaza watching the bombardment of gaza right one of the interviews i saw was a member of parliament in the israeli knesset right and they're saying yes we will get rid of all the palestinians kill them all or get get rid of them and then we will come and occupy the land we will take over the land and god willing we are the best and we are the chosen people and fuck everybody else and we are the only human beings and everybody else is an animal like literally that's what they're saying and they have their children there watching this bloody massacre did the, the germans have outings outside of concentration camps with families eating sandwiches and watching Poles and gays and blacks and whoever and whoever and Jews and whoever and whoever, communists, get killed? Did, did the Germans do this? Did the Nazis do this? Sit there and on their porches on, on when they had the guards <laughs> set up? Sit there and watch this massacre? No, what fucking Zionist Israelis are. Un-effing believable. Right? And the world sees this. Will you ever look at an Israeli in the same light again? As a Zionist in the same light again? As a born-again Christian in the same light again? I won't. I won't. All right. How could you? Crazy times. Crazy times. 